everybody. I'm back with a brand new story. And today's story I have is The Good Egg by Jory John. And I love this series. And I hope you guys do too. The Good Egg. The Good Egg. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. You know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things. Like I'll carry your groceries. I'll water your plants. I'll change your tires. I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Gleg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and the other Frank. And you notice that? Like all of these rhyme, Meg, Peg, Greg, Gleg, and then Shell. It's like an eggshell, Shell, Shelby, Sheldon, an egg, Bert. And look, they're all living together. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly very good. They ignored their bedtime. Should you ignore your bedtime? No. They only ate sugary cereal. And they threw tantrums. And they cried for no reason. And they broke stuff on purpose. Is that being very well behaved? No, look, they're throwing tantrums. They're crying. They're breaking stuff. They are not doing what they're supposed to. Here they are, they're ignoring their bedtime. They're eating too many sugary stuff. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. See, he's very good. He is, what is he trying to do? Right, he's trying to get everybody else to behave. But nobody seemed to care. Every night I was exhausted and my head felt scrambled. He's very, he's very frustrated. Why is he so frustrated? Right, because he's trying to get everybody to behave and they are not behaving. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. Uh-oh. And they were everywhere. You see the cracks in his shell? My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up. Literally, something had to change. So he's very frustrating, and because he's so frustrated, he can't get them to behave. He starts, he's cracking up. He's really cracking. His shell is cracking. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelby and Sheldon and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and the other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. And he left that night. He's like, I can't stay here anymore. I have to get out. I can't be with all these bad eggs anymore. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, the days became weeks, and I lost track of time. I was all alone, out there in the road, under the stars. I really tried to focus on myself, what I needed. I took walks. 
I read books. I floated in the river. I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in. I breathed out. I even started painting. So he's trying everything. He's trying all these self-help things. He's taking walks, he's reading books, he's writing in his journal, he's meditating, he's painting, he's taking baths, he's trying everything. And for once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal and my head no longer felt scrambled. So he's starting to feel better. I started to feel like myself again. See, all the cracks are gone. His brain doesn't feel scrambled anymore. He feels at peace. So I made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. So he decides, you know what? Even though I'm nice, I'm healed. I miss my friends and I want to go back. This time, I know what I need to do. I am not gonna worry so much. So he's gonna go back and instead of trying to change everybody and trying to worry about everything and get all cracks again in his shell, he's gonna go and he's gonna be at peace. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. So you can be both. So he's going to be a good egg, but he's not going to worry so much. He's going to do some self-care. He's going to breathe in, breathe out. He's going to meditate. He's going to relax. Here we go. Everybody missed me. I miss them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Craig. Greetings, Glag. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, oh, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? How to do, other Frank? So he did. He missed all his friends, and all his friends missed him. Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be perfect either. Do you have to be perfect? No, there is no such thing as being perfect. Nobody is perfect. And I'm okay with that. Everybody has something about them. Nobody's perfect. And you can't try to change everybody. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. So he's happy, even though they're still a little silly and they still don't behave. He's at peace now, and he's not going to let it get to him. And that was the good egg. I hope you enjoyed that story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Bye.